Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. This is me, Mr. P. During one of my previous live streams, one of you asked me a question. What about Samsung DeX for PC and the touch screen Windows machine? Can you control DeX on PC while you're using on the touch screen Windows device? So I'm gonna try this out with my Microsoft Surface Pro 7. So let's find out, can you control DeX for PC while you have a Windows machine which has a touchscreen display. Let's begin by getting my Note 9 and connect it to a Surface Pro 7. I'm gonna use USB Type-C to USB Type-C to connect my Note 9 to a Surface Pro 7, just because that USB Type-A has been used by the display link adapter to screen record everything what you see on my, on my um, Surface device. So let's plug that in into a USB Type-C port. Once plugged in, my phone is getting a notification or vibrates that is basically being charged. I'm just gonna unlock it. Samsung DeX, Samsung, uh, Samsung DeX for PC starting so I'm just gonna full screen that I'm gonna express accept on my note 9 to get DeX for PC running on my Surface Pro 7 so right now nothing wallpaper hasn't changed but basically right now we are inside the DeX for PC so right now I'm gonna take my MX Master Bluetooth mouse as you can see I'm clicking around going for an app draw and I'm using the uh, Logitech A380 to control the uh, the DeX on PC as well but what if I'm not gonna use either of these input devices i'm just going to use my fingers to control samsung dex for pc let's start by just tapping on a screen so if i tap once this acts as a left mouse button click if i tap again this closes if i'm going to go for example into this app which is called concept it's like a drawing app on android devices i think that started and right now okay it's just telling me here we go let's open the one of the canvas i created earlier so two fingers pinch to zoom in and out does work as you can see but it's very, very, very uh, laggy. If I'm gonna start drawing, um, as you can see, it's, it lags behind. Let me actually uh, mouse input just to create a new one. Let me quickly select the uh, much bigger brush size. Let's go with 16 points and the black color. So we're just gonna, so right now I'm gonna try to draw. Um, hopefully the camera and the screen recording will be able to pick it up exactly how laggy it is. So as you can see, it is slags behind by about, I would say, three, four centimeters. So one single mouse input does work. So right now, how to exit this app? And I tried this before. There is, here we go. Just scroll, it's just sliding from the bottom of the screen. Uh, the app appears or the taskbar appears just for blink of an eye, um, blink of a second, and then you can close it. So let's run the app called Fluid. This app I'm using just to test how many finger inputs the this device, for example, takes at the same time. So I'm gonna use one finger. As you can see, I'm interacting with the app. If I'm gonna try two finger inputs, nothing happens. And that's it. Only one finger input is for tap. And if I'm gonna use two finger inputs to tap, it's acts like a right mouse button click. So if I'm gonna quickly exit this app, here you go, we're back into a home page screen. So let's say I want to right click on for example fluid app on my screen i need to tap once to select and then tap two fingers next to each other to do a right mouse click because if i'm going to click somewhere else it's basically deselects and just right, does a right click exactly where my two fingers taps so i'm going to tap back on the fluid i'm going to tap here as you can see it goes outside but if i'm going to tap two fingers on the actual app it's going to act the right mouse button click and that's it, pretty much that's all it is. It's a one mouse, one finger tap to act as a left mouse button click and two finger tap acts as a right mouse button click. Uh, drag and drop, I think it does work. So as you can see, I tapped and holding and right now app is just going all over the place because I'm trying to drag the app into a different location. So the click, tap and hold and drag does work, but pretty much I think that's it, nothing else. So it's not ideal to control decks or a DeX for PC with the touchscreen displays, but if you have not, if you don't have a mouse or keyboard around you, this is um, not bad. Let's say a quick, uh, quick kind of interaction with the DeX for PC is, is usable. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's open the Samsung. I'm gonna use the keyboard just to uh, be much quicker. I'm gonna type some. Okay, internet. On the, my Note 9 and this one UI 2.5 is very very picky it doesn't search the apps straight away so you need to spend like close the app drawer open app drawer close the app drawer and open app drawer again just to get the um, search keyword being recognized just to get that to be recognized so right now we're back here we go we are in the samsung internet i'm gonna tap on the address bar tap on the keyboard come on 
I'm going to type Reddit. I'm going to tap on a Samsung Dex subreddit group. That is loading. And I'm going to try pinch to zoom in and out. So I'm going to use two fingers to zoom in. As you can see, it's zooming in, but very, very choppy. It does zoom in, but very choppy. So it's it, it does work, but okay, but not ideal. So it's not precise, precise pinch to zoom in and out, but it does work. Like I said, it's not ideal, but it will be useful for you if that kind of very urgent situations that you don't have a keyboard or mouse with you and you have some for some reason Samsung Dex connected to uh, your touchscreen Windows device. So it does work a bit. So that's that's what you can do with the touchscreen Windows touchscreen device and the Samsung for Samsung Dex for PC while it's connected. Uh, so while Samsung Dex for PC is connected. I don't <laughs> struggling to speak today. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video answers your question. Can you use Samsung Dex for PC with a touchscreen Windows device? We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.